Our local history traces back to a time before Beaver County even existed. On this elevated plateau above the Ohio River stood an American fort known as Fort McIntosh. Following the Revolutionary War, Western expansion was a top priority. In order to facilitate further expeditions into the Western frontier, a fort was built on the northern side of the Ohio River, just below the mouth of what was then known as Big Beaver Creek. Fort McIntosh was built in 1778 and named for General Lachlan McIntosh. The fort was in the shape of a trapezoid, which was 150 feet long on each side. It contained three barracks, warehouses, officers' quarters, a forge, a kitchen, and powder magazines for defense. Sitting on top of a 130-foot slope to the Ohio River, the fort was a very imposing structure. On the southern shore of the river, General McIntosh also oversaw the construction of a supply road to Fort Pitt, which in time would come to be known as the Broadhead Road, named for Colonel Daniel Broadhead, who succeeded McIntosh at the fort. On January 21, 1785, the fort was the setting for the Treaty of Fort McIntosh, an agreement between the United States government and the leaders of the Wyandotte, Delaware, Chippewa, and Ottawa nations of Native Americans. This treaty opened up further exploration to the West. Today, Fort McIntosh is one of the most cherished historical locations in Beaver County. Added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1975, it is now protected due to its significance to American history.